the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. For decades, the idea of the Big Bang Theory has been the accepted explanation of how the universe began. But what if this theory, the cornerstone of modern astronomy, has been wrong all along? Brace yourselves because a new discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope could be about to shake the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. And according to renowned theoretical physicist Professor Michio Kaku, this latest breakthrough is the key to finally proving the Big Bang Theory is nothing more than a myth. Keep watching to find out what this discovery is and how it might change everything we thought we knew about the beginning of our universe. Have you ever pondered the mind-boggling question of how our vast and awe-inspiring universe came into existence? It all started with the Big Bang, the extraordinary event that birthed the cosmos as we know it. Picture this, a tiny speck, barely noticeable, suddenly unleashes unimaginable power, causing a cataclysmic explosion that ignites a cosmic symphony of celestial bodies. The Big Bang Theory, widely embraced by scientists, unveils a breathtaking narrative of a universe that began approximately 13.8 billion years ago in a mind-bending state of unimaginable density and heat. At this extraordinary moment, atoms were non-existent, and everything we are familiar with today was compressed into an infinitesimal singularity. But then, in a twist that perplexes us still, this singularity embarked on an extraordinary expansion, stretching the fabric of space and time itself. This rapid expansion allowed subatomic particles to emerge, eventually joining forces to create the building blocks of matter, atoms. With the passage of time, gravity meticulously brought these atoms together, birthing the seeds of galaxies and stars. The dazzling spectacle of the first stars illuminating the cosmos ensued, as hydrogen atoms fused and released magnificent bursts of energy through the captivating process of nuclear fusion. These majestic stars in turn forged elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, enriching the universe with substances vital for the existence of life. Spectacular supernovas erupted, scattering these elements across space, ultimately leading to the formation of new stars, planets and remarkably, our own extraordinary home, Earth. Billions of years passed, witnessing the gradual cooling of our planet, the development of an atmosphere and the emergence of life. A mesmerizing journey from simple cells to the astounding diversity of life that graces our planet today. But hold on, our story doesn't end there. The captivating discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have cast a shadow of uncertainty over this narrative, raising intriguing questions about the events that followed the Big Bang. So let's try to make sense of it all. Millions of years after the cataclysmic Big Bang, a new act began on the cosmic stage. The birth of the first stars, colossal giants up to hundreds of times the size of our Sun, ignited the universe with their incandescent brilliance but their impact went beyond mere radiance. Their intense ultraviolet light possessed the power to reshape the cosmic landscape, splintering hydrogen atoms and initiating a transformative process known as ionization. This remarkable period spanning from the Dark Ages to roughly a billion years ago is called the Epoch of Reionization. It marked the time when the radiant glow of these stellar behemoths swept across the cosmos, scattering the veil of neutral hydrogen. Yet mysteries shroud this epoch, as the exact timing of the first stars and the onset of reionization remain elusive. These radiant pioneers, the celestial architects of our universe, hold profound significance. They not only illuminated the darkness, but also shaped the very fabric of galaxies to come. Their explosive demise birthed black holes that grew into titanic forces known as mini-quasars, eventually culminating in the colossal black holes that we find at the hearts of galaxies today. However, the astounding revelation brought forth by the JWST, as discussed by Kaku, threatens to upend our understanding of cosmic genesis and galaxy formation. The JWST has laid bare a mind-bending revelation, a group of early universe galaxies, aptly dubbed Universe Breakers, that defy the boundaries of plausibility. 
these colossal entities, teeming with stars rivaling the Milky Way, emerged a mere 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, defying the conventional timeline. The shockwaves ripple through the scientific community, challenging 99% of our cosmological models. This mind-boggling discovery forces us to question our foundational understanding of the universe's birth and compels a reckoning with our established knowledge of galaxy formation. The very essence of our cosmic tale hangs in the balance, demanding that we rewrite the script or revise the laws governing our celestial stage. And every passing year, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, births a modest number of one to two new stars. Yet when we peer into the depths of the universe's timeline, we stumble upon galaxies that should be birthing hundreds of stars each year. If just one of these galaxies is genuine, it would stretch the boundaries of our cosmological comprehension. Currently, signs indicate that these celestial entities are indeed galaxies, but we dare not dismiss the tantalizing possibility that they might be cloaked supermassive black holes or colossal quasars. Joe Lear, an astronomy and astrophysics professor, urges us to embrace an open-minded stance, remarking, this is uncharted territory and we must remain receptive to what lies before us. While the evidence leans toward galaxies, there remains a chance that we might unveil enshrouded supermassive black holes. Regardless, the mass uncovered challenges our preconceived notions, dwarfing previous estimates by a staggering factor of up to 100. Even if we halved the sample size, the disparity remains breathtaking. But what are renowned physicists Kaku's thoughts on unravelling this intriguing discovery? While they may appear as baby galaxies, my personal belief is that these are no ordinary infants. They are monstrous black holes that emerged after the moment of creation. This confounds scientists because they defy the conventional sequence of galaxy formation. I hypothesize that we are actually witnessing colossal black holes where new laws of physics may be at play. And if one can decipher this puzzle, a Nobel Prize could very well await them. Kaku's proposition aligns with recent findings by the JWST, which has detected the earliest known black hole in the universe. Astronomers speculate that even earlier black holes could have populated the cosmic landscape during its youth. These cosmic behemoths could be among the countless black holes that feasted on matter during the cosmic dawn, a period commencing roughly 100 million years after the Big Bang and lasting a billion years. The abundance of these black holes and the mechanism behind their tremendous growth still elude astronomers. The researchers responsible for discovering the most recent black hole have already shared their findings. According to the study's lead author, Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin, this is the first black hole we've found at this redshift point in time after the Big Bang, but there should have been many others. They believe that this black hole did not form recently, implying the existence of younger black holes that arose earlier in the universe. Black holes form from the collapse of massive stars and continue to grow indefinitely by devouring gas, dust, stars, and even other black holes. As material spirals into these enigmatic cosmic voids, friction causes it to heat up, emitting detectable light that transforms them into active galactic nuclei, AGN. Among AGN, quasars stand out as the most extreme, with masses billions of times greater than that of our Sun, releasing a dazzling blast of light billions of times brighter than the brightest stars when shedding their gaseous envelopes. Since light travels at a constant speed, the deeper astronomers gaze into space, the more distant light they intercept, granting them a glimpse further back in time. Equipped with two infrared cameras, the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and near-infrared camera, scientists employed spectrographs to analyze the light's frequencies and uncovered an unexpected spike. By deciphering these faint glimmers from the universe's early epochs, they detected a significant indicator subtle traces of radiation emanating from the hot material surrounding a black hole and extending across the cosmos. The sudden appearance of black holes in the young universe remains an enigma. Astronomers continue their quest to find even younger primordial black holes, which could have formed shortly after or even before the Big Bang. However, these hypothesized entities have remained elusive thus far. Two prevailing theories attempt to explain the rapid emergence of numerous black holes after the Big Bang. 
One suggests they are remnants of giant stars that formed at a much faster pace than their contemporary counterparts, while the other proposes they are dense clouds of gas that abruptly collapse, giving rise to these all-consuming singularities within the fabric of space-time. Larsen elaborated, stating the direct collapse method would require a larger quantity of matter in the galaxy to collapse directly into a black hole. While less likely, it would take less time, and since the observed point, there hasn't been an extensive duration. Alternatively, a population 3 star, a type of hypothetical star composed solely of hydrogen and helium, could have exploded around 200 million years after the Big Bang, leaving behind a black hole. This explosive event would have rapidly generated a substantial amount of material, causing it to expand to the size observed by researchers. The team will now commence a search for even more pronounced light signatures from the distant galaxy in collaboration with the MIRI development team. These emissions hold the potential to provide further insights into the formation of the enigmatic black hole and the core of the galaxy. Furthermore, astronomers using the powerful JWST have also unveiled another remarkable find. Five galaxies situated a staggering 13 billion light years away from Earth. These ancient celestial objects provide a glimpse into the universe's infancy, a mere 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Peter van Dockham, an esteemed astronomy professor, expresses the ever-shifting frontier of discovery, emphasizing that we have merely 300 million years of untapped cosmic history between these galaxies and the cosmic explosion. While this may seem like deja vu, recent months have witnessed claims of even older galaxies spotted by the JWST. However, these newly discovered galaxies stand apart, having undergone rigorous confirmation to establish their ancient nature, ruling out alternative interpretations. In the quest to determine distance, astronomers typically rely on redshift, where the color shift of light indicates its journey across an expanding universe. Yet, when exploring uncharted frontiers like those observed by the JWST, this technique becomes riskier. In a technical marvel, the study's authors employed detailed measurements of the galaxy's spectra, examining the emitted light at different frequencies to ensure accurate redshift estimation. These galaxies existed during the epoch of reionization, a time when the universe witnessed the birth of its very first stars. Astonishingly, the researchers discovered that although these galaxies were relatively small compared to our Milky Way, they were producing stars at an astonishing pace, a surprising phenomenon in the early universe. Analysis reveals that these galaxies lack complex elements, suggesting that their stars had yet to generate heavier elements and were primarily composed of hydrogen and helium from the universe's early days. Despite their youthful age, these galaxies experienced accelerated growth, defying expectations. Now the question lingers, did the Big Bang truly occur? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let the cosmic debate ignite.